All right, so what is going on YouTube? It's Jay three times back at it with another video in the building. First of all, shout out to Grand Rapids, Michigan. Got my little sweatshirt on. Got this straight out the airport. I was there for my annual training for two weeks as a reservist. Anyways, not the point. I am doing my part two reaction to Boys and Company C. And I kept my word last time. So I said I wasn't gonna click on this video. I was not gonna watch any of it until I did a part two reaction. Now here is the part two reaction. Let's get straight into it, y'all. Is that how they wake up, bro? Yo, what in the world? <laughs> Yo, hold up, bro. Is that how they... Whoa, bro. That is... That is... Okay, let me let me just continue to watch this. Let me see what they do before I even react to this part. What are you doing on my grass, private, huh? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so they're all getting the formation right now. That's the morning formation. Okay, so this is just right here. This is so, I kid you not, y'all. This is literally so different. So different. So, so different. Like the the, the sleeping buildings, the the places they sleep in. You not you would not sleep in that. Like it's like actual, it's just all different, y'all. I don't know how to explain it. Like these are like little huts you're sleeping in. Like the places you're sleeping in boot camp now, they're like actual large buildings. And they're like, I don't know how to explain it. It's not, it's not as small at all. Like, it's, it's actual bar. It's like, they're like freaking apartment buildings, like basically, you know what I'm saying? Like that's how big they are. They're not little huts as you see right here, like little tiny huts, whatever. And like, normally when the drones start to wake you up, like, first of all, it's before the sun even rises. Like the sun's like up and you know, out and everything. Like you're gonna wake up in the dark. Like literally, I kid you not, you're gonna wake up, you're not gonna see any sunlight. Like, doing like lights, lights, lights. You look out the window, still pitch black, dark. You know what I'm saying? And on top of that, like, the drone instructor will be indoors. He won't be standing outside screaming, platoon, yeah, 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 get outside. Like, nah, like, he's going to be, you're all going to be inside. You know what I'm saying? Everything's indoors. You're not going to be, like, outdoors. You're running outdoors. Like, you're getting, a, you're not even getting a formation when you first wake up. Literally, when you get, when you first wake up, there's going to be a line. There's going to be a starboard side and be port side. Basically, the left side and the right side of the building. And there's going to be lines on each side. When you first wake up, it's lights, lights, lights. Dark outside. Joel Shutter screaming and running down the hall and down the building. Screaming at everybody, you know, pointing everything, you know, telling everybody to get dressed. And then everybody wakes up, they get on line. That's what they get on. You first wake up, you get on the line. You don't get outside, you don't get information. You get on the line. The drone instructor gets accountability. You get the blue money bags, you count everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's literally completely different from here to what happens now. It's literally all different. But, man, that little part right there, like, dang, I said so much in that part. All right, let's keep watching. Dang. Move it down, move it down. Oh, what do we have here? Nice fucking move, sweetheart. When we come out of the billets, we're fully dressed. Oh. You understand me? Do I make myself clear? Right. Get it back. Ow! Ow! Did you like the match? 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 Oh, what are you talking to the drone instructors, yo? Oh my goodness. Yo, 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 yo. You would not talk to I, I think I'm pretty sure I said this in the last video. I definitely said this in the last video. You would not talk to a drone instructor like that. He's all over here cursing. Hey, let go of me, man. Let go of me. My nuts, man, my nuts. Let go of me. Yes, I like my nuts. All that like bro, you will not talk to a drone instructor like that. And the way the drone instructor put his hands on the crew like that. And grab them like out of formation. I mean, will the drone start to grab some out of formation like that? Possible. Possible. I mean, 
it depends. But like today, like now today, drill instructors are not allowed to put their hands on any recruit at all. Like, like I mean, I mean pushing, touching, grabbing, they're not allowed to, like, you know what I'm saying? That's not allowed at all. You know what I'm saying? But there are cases where drill instructors don't follow the rules. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. All of you son of a bitches, grab your fucking nuts. Right now, grab your nuts. You do, you freak. All of you guys, grab your nuts. Grab your fucking nuts. Did you like them? Yes, sir. Do you like them? Yes, sir. That's something the drone instructor would do. Like, they all have, like, the entire opportunity to do something ridiculous or something stupid like that. You know, like, everybody, yep, everybody do this. Everybody do that, yep. And then, you, like, you, you, like they'll they'll do something very similar to that, like something stupid, you know what I'm saying? I feel good to you! Yes, sir! If you fucking guys wanna keep them son of a bitches, you better listen to your drill instructors! I'm trying to help you keep them! Is that clear? Yes, sir! Did you think your girlfriends is gonna love it if you come back without them? No, no sir! If you come back without your balls, they're gonna find another guy! Did you understand what I'm saying to you? Yes, sir! I got eight weeks to train you, to think, to act. You said eight weeks? It is 13 weeks now, bro. <laughs> oh, man, I think, I'm pretty sure it's done in the Vietnam War or something like that. So it kind of was cut down, I think, back in the day. Like when there was there was that war. Like it was like, boot camp was like cut way short. But it's not eight weeks anymore, it's 13 weeks. To be one, I have to make you depend on each other. I have to make you a fighting marine unit. Look around you. Like the man next to you? You think he's a nigger? Or that one's a Jew? Or that one's a spick? I don't care. That motherfucker's gonna save your life one day. And you better depend on your buddy. And your buddy's buddy. You understand what I'm saying to you? Yes, sir! Sergeant, explain your two tours to these people and clean this shit off the fucking streets. I spent 26 months in Vietnam. And I can tell you right goddamn now, Private, if you don't pay attention to what's happening here in recruit training and learn, you're going to come back from Vietnam in a goddamn plastic body bag. Right now, the casualty rate for young Marines is over 50%. If you don't pay attention, you are going to be that private in the body bag. September 1st. I'm not going to lie to you. I couldn't imagine. Let me be real with you, yo. Like... I couldn't imagine standing in boot camp in formation during wartime while the drone started talking like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he's keeping it mad real, of course. Like, that's, of course, you keep it real. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I would just, that would blow me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that conversation right there, he's having the recruits. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how to explain it, yo. I, I, I don't know, yo. He, he's saying, hey, look, you go to Vietnam, there's a 50% chance of you dying going to Vietnam. Like, bro, like, what in the world? Like, I'm just, I'm just getting a boot camp. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to graduate. I'm trying to go with my family, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to enjoy my time, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do things in the Marine Corps. And you say, when I got a boot camp, you go to Vietnam, 50% chance you dying and get over there if you don't pay attention right now. I was like, I, I don't know, yo. That's like mad pressure on top of that. And then it's like mad scary on top of that because there's a chance you like not coming back home. I don't know, yo. This is. Just... I don't know, yo. That's. Unless like now it would be different because like, I've been in Marine Corps for a little bit now. But like me first getting to boot camp and then, then them already about to go to war. It's like, oh, but bro, I just got in. Like, let me get a chance to get used to this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, I'm already about to go to Vietnam and possibly die. I mean, possibly something very bad happened to me. Possibly not come back home. I'll be, I'll be shook. I'll be shook, bro. 1967. We can't seem to do anything right. In fact, half of us don't even know our right from our left. Sergeant Moyes says if Uncle Sam is counting on our platoon to win the war for him, he's betting on the wrong side. I 
Undoubtedly, you people have set some kind of a new record today. You have fucked over these weapons so goddamn bad, they'll probably never fire again. Let's move it out of here. Oh, come on, baby, pull it out. Get out of here. You definitely do the same stuff in today's Marine Corps, like the bay and the assault course. You definitely still the same thing, like just just screaming and everything like that's literally the same thing. Like the stabbing the little um the little the dummies with the bayonets, just saying kill, kill, kill. Like you're gonna do the same thing. Come on, Alan! Protect yourself, Alan! Alan! Get up! Get up! Come on, man! Get up! Come on, Alvin! Get up! Protect yourself! Get up! Come on, Alvin! Get up! Protect yourself! instructor have a cigarette in his hand what in the world there's no way of smoking a cigarette you see that you said like oh my goodness it's not a cigarette bro that's not a very good look for um drone instructors you know it's not a very good look for i mean drone instructor is supposed to be like the perfect example like the so-called perfect example of a united states marine that's not a very good look you know having a cigarette you know say hey it was a it's not it's not healthy, bro. Are you smoking? Dummy, you wiped me out! No! God damn it, teamwork! Stay all day! Get in the fucking water! Get in the fucking water! Get in the fucking water! Get off! Get over there, Washington, quickly! You're dead! The VC just heard you, and you're dead! And you can thank that man, Washington. Your instructors have been telling you for weeks to pull together! Pull together, but he let you get wiped out. That's all it takes. One fuck up. You look like shit. So I'm going to give you a shit detail that will help you pull together. Yeah, all that training you just saw, all that little walking around, running around a tire, jumping with the log, um, getting in the water, all that stuff. That same intensity, yeah, you would definitely do all that kind of stuff. And it's going to be mad intense. Probably mad, more intense now than it is. You see here, it's going to be probably, yeah, definitely more intense. Because you've been screaming. And, like, they, they literally make everything in boot camp as miserable as possible for you. So, it's going to be a lot more intense now. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this goddamn aircraft loaded. Let's get this aircraft loaded. Let's get them moving. Hey! Billy Ray Pike. Billy the Bob. Damn. You ain't smoke spalded, are you? In the flesh, bro. In the flesh. You know, I got me a nice soft desk job here. I'm the company clerk. You know, I thought that was your name. I saw in that telegram I got you. What telegram? <laughs> your DI's got it, man. <laughs> this is Betsy's up in, in Oceanside. In a marine Wait a minute, hotel. man. Betsy's here? What a hole in the wall. <laughs> Shit, Full man. She must need me bad. <laughs> Hey man, you gotta, oh, can oh, I oh, see you? Can you give me a pass? Pull your horses, bro. Don't get your balls in an uproar. Look, I gotta take some stuff up tomorrow, and I'm gonna need a private to help. Yeah, that's crazy, dog. Like, I think, I think they're already done with crew training. Are they done with crew training already? I have not never seen this movie before, so I don't know if they're like finished recruit training or they're like, you know, still in it. But if they were done recruit training, that'd be insane. Like they're literally just going from recruit training to already getting ready to ship off. That's crazy, yo. Yeah, it's insane. They ain't get time to go to Marine Combat Training, go to MOS school, we just straight from recruit training to war. 
Like, I guess, like I said, y'all, I, I don't know if I could imagine that myself being in their shoes, like going straight from boot camp and not even getting the full entire training of boot camp, and then going straight to war. That's that's insane, dog. Like right, they're already like we're getting shot at and stuff. Like what, bro? That's that's crazy. It's crazy. The lieutenant, sir. The lieutenant. Yes, that's sir. your lieutenant. Leave me. Leave sir. me. Get away. Are you all right, Alvin? What the? I'm okay. Nothing yet. Dumb bastards. Trying to make fools us. Y'all, I knew they were just trying to scare us. <laughs> they did a good job on you, Billy Ray. You almost pissed in your pants. Bullshit. <laughs> Good afternoon, Lieutenant. What seems to be going on here? Well, sir, it looks like we just wiped out your entire platoon here, and we got an airplane and two trucks besides. Okay, so they're not getting shot at. This is actual... This is an exercise. Okay. That was wrong. It's not an actual... They're not actually getting shot at. It's an exercise. Okay. Combat tactical exercise. And these men are all dead. Now lay down. That's an order. Yeah, Lieutenant, I gotta have a word with you. You're dead. You're dead. Get down. Get down! What is all this stuff anyway, H? Q-111, Marine Air Force, Vietnam. RVN. What's RVN? Republic of Vietnam. You're stuff's going to Vietnam, Alvin? What is this? Ow! What the hell is this? I don't know. Hey, Fazio. Foster, what is this stuff? We don't know. I think it's a giant rubber. Why don't you put- Yo! Yo, I couldn't be, I don't know if I could be in that situation, bro. I'm real with you. Oh my goodness. Like I said, like right now. Yo. Yo. There, those are body bags, bro. Yo, those are body bags. They're preparing them like to like, to possibly die. Like literally, bro. What in the world? Oh my goodness. No, I don't think so. Hey, I got it. She's sleeping in it. It's a lightweight. They are mad clueless. Like, they're over here. What is this? This is like a mattress. They're unzipping it, bro. Those are body bags. You're going to die, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's insane, bro. Like, they just got a boot camp. And they're already getting prepared to die. Giving them body bags and everything. Oh my goodness. Yo, that's insane. Hey, I got it. She's sleeping in it. It's a lightweight sleeping bag. <laughs> look at this. No, but, hey, look at this. It's for sleeping, man. I can sleep all night in this thing. Hey, Billy. Billy. You fall asleep in that, you won't wake up. It says it's a body bag. What's a body bag? What's a body bag? That's what they ship the stips in. <laughs> Damn, the zipper's stuck. <laughs> Get me out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Take it easy. <laughs> Y'all couldn't imagine, bro. I'm not fucking could imagine, bro. Like just going to boot camp, trying to make a career out of it, but instead you go to boot camp, don't even get the full training, don't get to go to MCT, don't get to go to MOS school, don't get to see your family, don't get to go home, don't get to live out your career, but instead go to recruit training for eight weeks, Go straight to Vietnam and most likely lose your life. Or come back with something life threatening or like something that, you know, like PTSD or something, or like losing a limb or losing your, losing your mental state, you know. I don't know if I can imagine that. You know, I give props to, you know, was men, you know, or possibly women that had been to war and like that had been through that, you know, stage because that is just insane. Like they literally just got to boot camp. They discovered like these hundreds to thousands of body bags they just opened up. 
You know what I'm saying? They didn't even know what they are. They just thinking the mattresses, they think they're gonna go in there and spend time possibly, but they're body bags. They're literally preparing them to possibly not come back home. Most likely not come back home. And that's really sad. That's extremely sad. I like I said, I can't imagine that being their shoes. You know, that is just crazy. That's crazy. <sighs> Anyways, this video is getting way too long. Let me know if you want to part three to this. And I'll finish the rest off with different parts, I guess. But let me know if you want to part three. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. It's your boy J3Towns. I'm checking out. Peace.